Hello, everybody. Trevor Thomas, you you know maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I uh, <laughs> it is time for the Critics Choice Movie Awards predictions. Um, this is this is we're recording a bunch of predictions back to back. Our guilds are Baptist Critics Choice. This is the last one we're recording. This is the last one that you'll be seeing in a slew. Um, assuming that Future Me did everything correctly of predictions videos, uh, leading up to the weekend of DGA BAFTA and critics choice is very very exciting so we will be predicting the big eight categories comedy film young actor actress ensemble and the other one that i said that we were going to do uh animated and then um foreign language film score song and the text will be on a graphic card at the end of the video just like the text uh and score and song for bafta um documentary has already gone to summer soul because they do the, the thing. Um, and then the Critics' Choice Super Award will decide their other weird categories like action movie, sci-fi, sci-fi movie, etc. So, yeah. Don't know what that was. Um, all right. Let's get going. Best picture. It's Power of the Dog. It um, is, yeah. Like, yeah, it's it's the Critics' Choice. What, what else are they going to do? Yeah. Like, re- really. Really, everybody. What else are they going to do? Um... I spoiler, I, I it's still probably Belfast at this point. Um, mm-hmm. Best director, Campion. This yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I thought you said that with a hint of uncertainty, and I was like, eh, you know, there, there's no well, uncertainty. Here. No, it's 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 it is maybe even the biggest lock. Spielberg, yeah. I, I guess, is the second, but it's maybe equally it's Campion, it's Power of the Dog. These two categories are. Locked. Pretty much locked in at this point. Yep. Just like Zhao and Nomadland last year. Actress, this is where it gets interesting. Thomas, I'm presuming by our Oscars predictions, you're going with Stewart. I will be going with Stewart, yeah. I also will be going with Stewart. Um, I love that she is, like, by far the number one on Gold Derby. That made me very happy. Yeah. Like, yeah. she needs this, otherwise the Oscar isn't happening. If she gets this, it's possible in a Turvers Chastain. I also think that Chastain can win here. I don't see Kidman, Gaga, or Haim happening. Like, I don't see... This um, no, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I wouldn't be that surprised. I'd be, like, a little, you know, surprised if Kidman was to win. But equally, with the category as wide open as this, Kidman's still got a shot here. And, I you guess. know, I'd much rather see Chastain and Stuart win. I'd much rather see Stuart win. She is easily my number one here. But equally, yeah. if Kidman is to win, I wouldn't be... Shocked. I wouldn't be shocked. I'd be more mad. Um, and mm. like Chastain could very easily win here, though. She um, could. She could. Especially after the SAG win, and I think that would make her almost a lock to win at the Oscars. Not quite, but almost. Um, almost, yeah. I mean, equally, like SAG Critics Choice. You know, it's a good combination. It's not the strongest. You'd like to see more, though. Yeah, yeah. like you'd like to see more. So anyone even could if, still win. Even if that happened, I could see somebody like even without any previous wins taking the category, like Coleman, yeah. or someone something. with previous wins like Kidman, Kidman. Yep. in Golden Globes. Yep. I also legitimately could see Coleman winning here. Um, she could. She could. Like this is her last chance to win. I could still see her coming, like coming out of coming out of this race on top and winning her second mm. Oscar because she's Olivia Coleman. Um, and it's something that could very easily happen. Um, I, she might, like, she's definitely the three for me. Um, I don't know. This is a really wide open category, but I'm going to Stuart just because she's the critics pick. And I think people will want to see this happen. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Best actor. Time for me to be stubborn. Benedict Cumberbatch. Will Smith. Will Smith is going yeah. to win here. So do He's critics win here. like critics choice usually does try to predict the Oscars. Yes. Mm. Who's the Oscar front runner? Will Smith. Will However, Smith. why why not? <laughs> why not? Okay. Fair enough. That's fair enough attitude. As long as you understand that Will Smith is the favourite here. Um, no, by far. Yeah. Yeah. I fully and, recognize that Will Smith is the favorite here. But with like Power of the Dog as such a lock, 
for picture and director. I like just just why not? If he's winning BAFTA, maybe we get to see a two and two. Maybe he comes in here. Even if he even if he loses here, I still think that he wins BAFTA and Oscar. Um, mm-hmm. but it's like legitimately, like just just yeah. Why not? Um, uh, nobody else has a shot here. Garfield, Denzel, Cage, Dinklage. No. Also weird that no Bardem, Bardem just didn't make it in this category, which Even is you know category six. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, I presume he was probably seventh here, but equally, Nicholas Cage going over him. I'd love to see or DiCaprio even, yeah, uh, or even Mahesh Um yeah. I'd love to see Nicholas Cage win, obviously, but that's yeah. not going to happen. That's not going to happen. I'd love to see Garfield win, but that isn't going to yeah. happen. Um, it's like I think you would agree that Cumberbatch is the two at least. Yes, yes, I would agree. Okay. With that. But yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Um, because why not? As I said, supporting actress. This is, I guess, where Dunst has her best shot of upsetting, but it's the Bose. Equally, right? yeah, it's the Bose. It's the Bose. This yeah. is a clean sweep. Um. Once again, maybe maybe Dunst could upset, but yeah, like. I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, uh, especially with the West Side Story having two noms in this category, because Moreno was mm-hmm. also nominated. The yeah, yeah. Supporting actor, I'm going with according to Gold Derby an upset with Troy Kotzer. I'm going with oh, is that an upset? Gold? Okay, well I'm going with Kotzer as well. Yeah, as we've mentioned, we both felt that Cody would win one of Bath and Critics Choice and Kotzer would win the other, and. Yeah. Like I presume the BAFTA nomination video will be going, yes. uh, going out before yeah. this. Okay, yeah. so we both predicted Cody there. So yeah, I do think Kotzer. He's also just got better narrative. This feels like an award that yeah. he could pick up, and it would end up being Cody versus Kotzer, and it would be a very close race because, two and two. as he's mentioned, you know BAFTA is a very good predictor. You know, most of the time, most of the time, um, <laughs> it is a very good predictor. So I don't know. I if. Kotzer is to win here and Cody is to win a BAFTA. I don't know who I predict, in all honesty. It would be a coin flip. Yeah, honestly. So, like, yeah, Gold Derby has Cody as the favorite for both of them. Mm -hmm. But I think they still have Kotzer as the favorite for the Oscar. So, So, yeah. It's a bit confusing. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I'm feeling Kotzer here. Critics' Choice is very reactionary. The problem is, is that I think voting ended before his search. Mm-hmm. So, well, yeah, yeah. I still think that culture makes sense, but I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to Cody, and like Cody could take two then. And if that happens, I don't know what we're looking at. No, because I'd still say Culture would have a good shot. I would still I, keep I, him in I, the I conversation. Still would not be shocked if he won. I no, agree exactly. So, That's the problem. Like this category is pretty. It's a two horse race. It is a very much a two horse race. But equally, there's are two very strong horses. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Um, original screenplay. I'm going with Liquor's Pizza here. Same. It's PTA. It's a critics' favorite. Yeah, it makes sense. Still so shocking yeah. that critics went with Bean Ricardo's over Worst Person in the World. Hmm. And the Oscars yeah. didn't. Still kind of yeah. shocked by that. Also weird the BAFTAs went for it as well. I mean, yep. like, this felt like the five. But, you know, I'm perfectly happy, however, to see Worst Person in the World get the nomination over being near regardless. Like, yeah. if it was over King Richard, I'd be a little more annoyed. But equally, I wouldn't be that annoyed because it's fun to see a film like Worst Person in the World get into a category like original screenplay. But equally, I would be a bit annoyed because I do prefer King Richard to Worst Person in the World. But, you know, yeah. best film to snub out that you could have done. You know, they yeah. made a very good decision at the Oscars. I mean, I would take Worst Person in the World winning over any of these five. Quite not. It's my favorite screenplay comparatively. It's all five of them. So. Yeah, that's the thing. It's probably my favorite screenplay of the bunch. Okay, yeah. But I just think, you know, I can't detract my love from King Richard from, you know, giving it all the awards possible. That's fair. That's fair. But all of that to say, it's Liquor's Pizza. Belfast is still there to upset. I mean, this is where we'll, this is like, this and BAFTA is the only time where we'll really get to see the two of them compete because mm-hmm. Golden Globes, it went to power the dog, right? 
Or no, yeah. it went to Belfast. Sorry. No. Did it go to Belfast? It went to no, Belfast. it went power of the dog. Be positive? Um, I don't want to sound positive. I'm fairly sure, though. Because oh. I think I predicted it wrong. It was one of the few categories I predicted wrong as a gold, pro Golden Ghost predictor. You know, but that was one of the... play went to Belfast, yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> right. Ignore me, then. Wait, yeah, so I got... No. Right or wrong? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> the best screenplay went to... I got Nicole Kidman right. I got Nicole Kidman right. That's all we need to know about Golden Globes. Best screenplay did go to Belfast, but they didn't... Uh, like, they didn't go with Liquor's Pizza there. So Belfast does have one up on Liquor's Pizza, I guess, but the momentum mm-hmm. definitely seems to be in Liquor's Pizza's favor. We'll see what happens at BAFTA and Critics' Choice because they won't be competing against each other at WGA. Mm-hmm. So... It just... Liquor's Pizza makes a lot more sense. Yeah, it does. And that's why I've gone for it as well. Yep. And then adapted to Power of the Dog. Again, Lost yeah. Daughter and Coda, I guess, got upset. But no, this is Power of the Dog. Yeah, not really a critic's choice, I don't think. I think yeah. this is Power of the Dog. Pretty locked up here. All right, into the weird, fun ones. Ensemble, Coda, the SAG Ensemble winner. Not here. No. Um, so I have instead gone for West Side Story. I've gone for Belfast. Okay. Uh, yeah, Belfast won HCA. I debated Power of the Dog. I think that's actually my number two, just because picture. But I don't, I don't know what like West Side Story. Like they love Spielberg at the Critics Choice, um, and it, it's a very big ensemble cast. It's made, they like I could just see them wanting to reward it in yeah. some way, shape, or form. But I mean, Zeg didn't get in, Face didn't get in, you know. They do. They yeah. are dings on the thing. They did do Moreno, though. They did do Rita Moreno. They did do Moreno, and, as well as Bose, who was just a shoe in anyway. Um, but yeah, I just think Belfast, you know, it got both Dawn and Anne Hines in, um, and Belf as well. So, you know, that's a, that's a fairly solid three that you've got going on there. And it's, will... got, it's got a pretty good shot in picture, pretty good, sh- pretty good shot in original screenplay. It's also indirect. They clearly like Belfast. Yeah, I'm going Belfast. I could also, I also would have considered Don't Look Up if like DiCaprio got nominated. Yeah, maybe, but maybe he didn't. So yeah, going to my side story here. Um, young actor, actress. Here I am. Also, I'm sticking with West Side Story. I'm going to go with Rachel Zegler. I also will be going with Rachel Zegler. Indeed. You don't know how badly I wanted to be Woody Norman though. For come on, come on. Uh, um. Yeah. But, yeah, like, I think Cooper Hoffman could also happen just because, like, he's, he's Philip Seymour Hoffman's son. Um, yes. Dude Hill, if they like Belfast enough. Amelia Jones, if they want to throw Coda something to go yeah. along with Yeah, I think Sonia Sidney, as good as she was in the film, d- doesn't have a shot here. She's easily the six. Yeah. Um, I, I really like that nomination, though. Like, I think yeah. that's a great nomination. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm going to go with Zegler here. Um, she's very much a newcomer. As well, I guess everybody here is a newcomer. Um, but she sings. And she's in mm-hmm. West Side Story. And I think that West Side Story is getting ensemble. And as I mentioned, they really like Spielberg. Yes. Yeah. So. Comedy film. What have you gone for? <laughs> I've gone for Licorice Pizza. Licorice Pizza. Okay. I went for Don't Look Up. I knew. Yeah, I felt you would. I felt you would. Because, so Licorice Pizza is like higher on gold derby but like if you think about like the biggest comedies of the year like it just don't look up like licorice pizza wasn't like that much of yeah that. but i mean licorice pizza like it's got director it's got the picture it's got the ensemble it's got Haim, it's got hoffman it's got screenplay it's got you know a lot of things a lot of things they clearly enjoyed licorice pizza um better critically received on the whole and like if you are looking at greatest choice you do have to look at general critic consensus and it was a lot better for a film like licorice pizza than it was for don't look up but like okay so like for instance i i feel like they like to go with the fun ones though like 2019 they went dolomite uh over stuff like jojo rabbit knives out the farewell book smart which they nominated in bigger categories like the the last five to win this uh category that it palm springs Dolomite is my name. They went with Crazy Rich Asians. They went with yeah, the Big but... Sick. They went with the Big Sick over Itania, the disasters are the disaster artist, and Ladybird, all of which were nominated above the line. 
Okay, um, this could also be served with the ding note against Don't Look Up, which is also not exactly the, if they are looking for a more oddball, fun pick, if you are going to say that, it's not going to be Don't Look Up here, really, because that also has done all pretty all right in the awards. Like, it would probably be more likely to go for someone like Bob and Star. I don't think that, <laughs> don't think that Crazy Rich Asians is an oddball pick. I think that that's the most popular comedy of the year. Like, for instance, The Favourite was nominated that year. Mm. in yeah. the comedy but they went with crazy rich asians because that's the more populous comedy not the favorite which like isn't again that funny of a film it isn't trying to be a comedy it's just a film that like happened to have a couple of jokes in it that they nominated above the line so they nominated it could be so though is a comedy like it it is a comedy though i guess i don't know i just think that don't look up makes a lot more sense for this category i don't know i don't know um animated what do you what have you gone for in canto as what have you done have you gone for play the mitchells or Mi- mitchell verse the machines it is big with critics so okay so gold derby for this is number one flea number two in canto number three mitchells mm-hmm. um and it's interesting because the gold derby for bafta had in at one mm. which is not like we went with or I, I went with Flea. Um, I went with Kanto. Yeah. Um, but here, Flea is actually number one. But Mitchell's and Kanto and Flea are all fairly close on Gold Derby. Yeah. I, I think that Mitchell's makes sense. I don't know. I think that it's... Mitchell's came out in May. That is its problem. It and came out in May. hard. Um, they are still saying, like, not to say... like There's, there's critic people that I know... Um, who have been receiving lots of stuff from Netflix and Sony regarding Mitchell's Earth and Machines, even just in the past week. I don't so, know. I don't know. Encanto is the one, like, even when it was released, no one was really talking about Mitchell's Earth and Machines. It did sort of, sadly, because I really enjoy, I prefer, vastly prefer Mitchell's over Encanto, but it was, it went under the radar. It was a pretty low key release. Whereas Encanto wasn't, was quite the opposite. I would also like to point out that Mitchell's beats Encanto at both Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic critic scores. Like, okay, but it's as you said, they go for the, they do look at the Oscars frontrunner as well. That is a trend we've seen from Critics' Choice. They look at the Oscars frontrunners, and which is the Oscars frontrunner? Encanto. Yes, but let's take a look at um at some of the previous uh, winners. So. They obviously did Soul the year prior, but they did Toy Story 4, they did Spider-Verse, they did Coco, they did Zootopia, they did Inside Out, they did the Lego movie. So, okay. they have so, given Lord Miller films. The yeah, week. seven Spy- years ago. Spider-Verse. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, but I'm saying the time they differed right. from the Oscars was seven years ago. I'm saying that if Flea and Mitchell's win Critics' Choice and BAFTA, are we so sure that Encanto is winning animated? Encanto, yes, Encanto is winning animated. It got score and it got song, and it's yes, Encanto is winning animated. You got international and uh, documentary. That's a as we've explained. That's a different like that is a different section of awards voting. Like yes, obviously they are a part of the actual Oscars, like as they should be, but equally. You know, they're not, they are a different set of films that they are looking at for those kind of things. Score, everything, best picture, everything is looking at, all the films that could be are looking at score and Encanto got in. Encanto is going to win an animated feature. Here, maybe it goes to Mitchell Lewis Machines. It's going to win the Oscar though. I, I don't know. I, I see Critics' Choice doing something different. I don't see them doing, like, okay. I, I think Encanto is definitely possible, but like they even nominated the Lego Batman movie, which not that many people did. Like they clearly love Lord and Miller. Yeah. Not what I will say though is I'm really I would say Flea stands more of a chance of winning BAFTA than Mitchell's does for winning here. I'd be way more way less shocked to see Flea come out I'd as winning BAFTA than I would agree. Yeah. I would agree with that. Um but I don't know. I think I think that we might see some uh some extra spices thrown in 
uh, thrown into the end of the animated feature race. Maybe not anything insane like time or something, but like you know, we might might to see like a, a sprinkle of, of maybe some salt and some pepper. Um, if we want to get really weird and both of this happens, maybe some paprika. So, okay, I get with the analogies. No, I think maybe slightly wish predicting there, but who knows? Who knows? Oh, one hundred percent. But like, I have logic to back it up with that. They they love Lord and Miller films, and yeah, they also love predicting the Oscars. And everybody loves Encanto, apparently. So there you go. Apparently. Um, all right. Those are all the ones that we're going to talk about. We will throw uh, some of our other predictions up on screen. It's, I think, just our Oscars predictions, except we're yes, going this to see them just. Movie. Yeah. So you can see all those up on screen if you haven't seen our Oscars predictions, but you can also go check out that video. Mm-hmm. Here are our predictions. All right, so that is the show. That is all of our predictions. Um, we will be live reacting to the Critics' Choice Awards and the BAFTA Awards March 13th, which is very exciting. I know that mm. I, at least, am very excited. Um, That's right. That's right. So you can see that then. But until then, Thomas, where can everybody until find then. you? You can find me out. I feel like I've done this outro a lot today. <laughs> you can find me at Favorite Pictures and on Letterboxd at Thomas Gladstone. As as if I, I I don't I don't know why probably because we've, this is the third video we've recorded today but you can find me <laughs> on YouTube at the Basement Letterboxd at Trevor Matson Twitter at Team Talks Movies and on uh, the Banana Meter lots of stuff to come stuff that we're very excited about but until then stay safe everybody and goodbye.